Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very good, teacher. Very How about good. you? Nice. One moment, please, teacher. Hey, hey. Good evening. How are you? All okay? Are you all okay? Fine. Connected. Yes, ready? Nice. All right. Welcome. This is our class number four. Today, yes, it's class number four, right? Yes, teacher, it's number four. Great. There are a few people, teacher. I see. I see. It's been a tiring yeah. Tuesday. It's just Tuesday, imagine. Yeah. <laughs> it's barely Tuesday. <laughs> so... Tomorrow is officially the last class for the first session, remember. So you have to work on the platform. If you have been working continuously on the platform, you only have one pending lesson for tomorrow. I mean, the one from tonight and the one from tomorrow. So, so far, let's say two, right? But tonight and tomorrow's lesson, and then we are over with the session one. And you work on the exercises from the session one. Is that right? The first week. The first week. Officially. The first week is over. Exactly. Okay. It's kind of mixed because and the platform uh, should be completed. To, the, to do finish. Exactly. Yes. It should okay. be completed tomorrow or the latest um, Thursday. Thursday morning should be completed the session one on the platform. Yes? Okay. All right, yes, all right. Teacher. Great. All right. Let's Great. See. Let's start on the chat by writing whatever you remember from yesterday. Whatever you remember from yesterday's class. Let's see. You, you can say, uh, we talk about these, we discuss about these, we created a conversation about these, we solve exercises about these, we practice this vocabulary, whatever you remember from the class, okay? From yesterday's class, actually. You write a sentence on the chat. Let's see what you remember. Let's start refreshing our mind. Okay? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Great. Go. Yes, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. At the end of the class, right, we introduce that topic. How to use can for information or possibility. We practice a conversation about the responsibilities of a new employee. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. The, right. the least to do the, the co-worker. Yes, the list of responsibilities that a new co-worker has. That's right. Yes. What else? Um, the name of the ex. <laughs> All right. For to multiplicar. To multiply. To multi multiply. Multiply, yes. Okay, multiply. So the, the, the symbols of the math, mathematics symbols. Yes. Mm -hmm. And like uh, for basic the, operations. And the divided by is just the slice. Divided by. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like when you have divisions, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Other times. Uh, <clears throat> yes. 
Yes, Robert. The other symbol or mathematics, times. Times is for multiplications. Yes, yes. minus. Minus, yes. When minus. Uh -huh. Thinking when. about the logical teacher. Mm -hmm. And when uh, storage, uh, 50 refrigerator <laughs> in my house. <laughs> you were thinking <laughs> how, mu how much space you need to storage 50 yeah. refrigerators. No, in a house, it's impossible. Yes, it's mm -hmm. impossible. We barely walk in the space we have because it's mm -hmm. too, too narrow, too little. Mm -hmm. All right. I see other people get connected. So I wish you guys could have some participation. It is important, okay? So now when I call you on the list for the attendance, you have to say something about yesterday's class, about what you remember, what you read, what you practice, what you completed on the platform, if you have any question, anything related to the classes that we have covered so far. Yes? Got it? Okay. Okay. Got it. Yo voy de camino a casa, pero ya llego. All right. <laughs> careful. <laughs> careful, careful. Okay. Let's see. Letty. She's feeling sick. She wrote a message on the WhatsApp chat and she says she's not feeling well. And her eyes sore when she's in front of the computer. Uh, somebody, Katy, I guess, that she's leaving work late. And then Andrea Urbina, she won't be able to connect because, yeah, she has sore eyes as well. Oh my God. problem with the eyes. The basurita in the log. Oh my God. How unpredictable. I would never thought of it. I guess that's one advantage when we wear glasses. We have some protections, right? Some yes. sort of protection on the eyes. All right. So that was Andrea, Andrea Urbina. Okay, great. All right, let's start. Andrea Lisbeth, are you here? Uh -huh. How are you? And tell me what you remember from yesterday class. Going home. How do you say that? <laughs> I'm going home. I'm sí, on my way camino. home. Ah, okay. El agua <laughs> Carlos Ernesto already participated in the chat, but I don't know if you want to add anything else. Present teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. You want to add anything else? Any other idea, extra idea? Uh, uh, yes, other practice um, about the sentence using the, the corner form of have and uh, has. Mm -hmm. Yes. In negative form as well, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Dennis Fernando. Yes, you know, but Fernando? No, really. All right. We never met this guy, have we? No, right? Gilberto Benito? Hello, good evening. Good evening. What do you remember? Yeah, very good. What do you remember from the class yesterday? Very good. Uh, I find uh, yeah, I study came for information. You study? Yes. Nice. That's great. That's great. That's important to review, to repeat to read the information on the platform or on your manual. 
That's great. Yes. Hazel. Do we have Hazel? Not today. Jose Andres? Not yet. Julio Cesar? How are you, teacher? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm fine. Going home or at, or at home already? Um, going home. Going home. So you finished work pretty late. Yes. What time? Um, eighteen, eighteen, and at or eight. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Yes. And how long does it take you to get home? Um, quince minutos. Fifteen minutes. Thanks. So you live near your work? Yes. That's nice. And where do you work? And Republic Homer. In Santa Tecla, in La San Miguel. In? I live in San Miguel. In San Miguel. San Michael. Oh my God. Very far away. Mm -hmm. So you practically live in the city? And you work in the city. Right? Yes. Okay, be careful. Catherine okay. Beatriz. Catherine Beatriz, no here. Present. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. <clears throat> what do you remember from yesterday? Not much. No? No. Really? Pay attention. Kathy Briseida? Present. Hello, tell me. Mm -hmm. Vaya. Pagarle los 16 dólares que gastó en tu pastel porque ahí los estabas sacando. Tome lo que gastó en mi pastel. Uh -huh. I'm waiting for the participation from Catherine. Teacher. Yes. Uh, remember that you said I'm working the superate. Uh -huh. In this moment, oh no, no, or oh, you, uh, uh, you work at. I've been there for about thirteen years. Thirteen years. Yes. Uh, okay. Next week. Next week, you're gonna be thirteen years in your company. Robert. Hello, teacher. You say next week. What happens? Uh, I think so. Next week, we are studying for superlatives. Yeah. Ah, for superlatives. Yes. Mm. Comparatives and superlatives. Comparatives and superlatives. Maybe. I, have okay. it. I don't remember, <laughs> to be honest. I'm okay. going to be checking. Yeah. Well, if that's the case, that's an interesting topic. No, yesterday I was sharing with Carlos that I worked for Programa Empresarial Superate. Oh. Superate. Mm -hmm. I entered Superate when I was very young. Really? And I, yeah. Back in mm. 2000, 2009, at the end. So I started fully the year in 2010. So this is Bishop. 13 years. No le entendí, ¿30 años de estar ahí o? No, 13. Ah, 13. Mm -hmm. Y todavía está ahí. Yes. <laughs> uh, Why? Es que I, I work here in the in La Salle. Yeah, but do you have any interaction with the with the foundation with Superative? Uh, no. 
no, you no. See the uh, I, I see people, uh -huh, yes, yeah. mm -hmm. student, a, a teacher. And there was a teacher to... there, Carlos, that was there forever, but he left last year, right? Last year or two years ago? Uh, excuse me, teacher. Teacher Carlos. Teacher Carlos worked at Superate for at Superate La Salle for more than 15 years. Teacher Carlos. Mm -hmm. Who is Teacher Carlos? Who oh, was a tall man? Maybe you never met him. No, I, I, I don't I think so. Mm. So he was there for 15 years. Uh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think he is the, the teacher that has worked the longest at the program. Ah, uh, really? A teacher of English, of course. But then mm -hmm. the other teachers of computing, values, psychologists, we have different type of teachers. Okay. Mm -hmm. What time do you arrive at the, at the, at the <laughs> lo local? I work at the company from seven to five. Seven to five? From seven to five. In the morning? So, yes. Really? <laughs> From 7 a.m. Very, very young teacher. It's a long schedule. Wow. <laughs> very tired. I am. Really tired sometimes. Yes, teacher. And sometimes it's okay. But this year, it has been really, really demanding. Uh, really, really demanding because I have 35 students in one group. 35 teenagers, 15 years old. Really? A lot of energy in, in your inside to the classroom. <laughs> a lot. And the space, the space is not enough. The space is small for them. So they are so many. And the other group, there used to be 33, but mm -hmm. two already left. Teacher, mm -hmm. and you were Monday to Friday or From Saturday? Monday to Friday. Friday. Monday to Friday. Okay. Sometimes events go on Saturdays. Okay. So I don't need a special event, a special occasions, but now I have another another class on Saturday, but it's also online. Okay, your work is very hard, but I think so you do love to learn. I the love student. I love the students, but this time. I almost finished my four module with them. So after four module, I changed with another group. I'm going to be with a smaller group, the, the seniors, the, the students that are in third year already. Because they okay. studied three years to learn English very well. <laughs> so really they, excellent. Yes. It's excellent. three years. That's right. It's three years and every day. And a lot of activities, of course, a lot of events. Mm -hmm. where they have to practice all right so we were still with mary she's not here because she's sick and the next person never is here roberto carlos tell us about yesterday's class what else uh -huh. you remember um i remember other topics for example uh, we were studying um for we were studying have to and um, has to yeah and mm -hmm. um, other topics uh, use use modal verb can for for us for a question information question right information question yeah mm -hmm. and i remember we practice different vocabulary um for example, warehouse manager, this person mm -hmm. in the church of the storing materials. Materials or products. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's right. Only, only teacher. Oh, that's all. Excellent. All right. Rolando Danilo, mister, what do you remember? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I remember, I remember after the class, uh, the conversation is about the the product, checking the product, the company is is 
If they use uh, the bear is the three person, the she and he uh, doesn't uh, has it, mm -hmm. it is it's about the the manager is uh, the following. All right, good. It's, yes, remember the third person he she is in affirmative. It has to. Any negative doesn't have to, right? Rudy, Mr. Rudy Alexander Asensio Gonzalez. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Were you in class yesterday? Yes. Tell me. Okay, and um, when you use the have to and um, has to and the negative form and don't have don't have to or, or doesn't or doesn't have that's it mm -hmm. yeah. all right thank you then we have salvador salvador alberto soriano sierra Hi, hello good evening Hi, sir good. how are you i'm fine i'm staying home now great how long does it take you to get from work to home uh 30 30 minutes 30 minutes driving yeah. driving oh my god so from what place to what place do you move i move the acajutla to from sonsonate. acajutla to sonsonate city yes oh wow do you work at the port <laughs> See. yes <laughs> really Yes, we need I to go for... another place to go. <laughs> Remember <laughs> yesterday, who is from from El Mahawal? <laughs> and Rolando remember. is also from Suchitoto. Oh, yes, 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 yes I am from Suchitoto. <laughs> so, yeah, it's the third place we have to go. Okay, okay, <laughs> let's go. Ah, uh -huh, yes, yeah. Puerto ahí? San Juan is beautiful. Yes, yes. It is beautiful. Yes. I've been to Acajutla only once. Yes. Cuando vino Logos Hope. Really? Okay. Y nos querían llevar, allá nos tenían tirado en un parque. Ahorita lo voy a poner. <ríe> <ríe> ¡Qué caos se hizo! Y nosotros andábamos no, casi 200 mira, adolescentes. Es una bomba. Uy, qué. Sí, estábamos almorzando a las 7 de la noche. Íbamos pasando por el pueblo de Campero de Sonsonate y nos echaron las habas. Así, a esa hora veníamos almorzando. That was the longest, longest trip ever. We came back to Soyapango around 10, 30 p.m. Is it who, who came? Who came? Yeah. Logos Hope is a boat, it's a ship, it's a library ship. Ah, okay. Es una biblioteca flotante. Oh, oh interesting. Pero toda interesting. la idea era que los children conocieran el Logos Hope. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was terrified. We were so far, far away in Acajutla, very hungry, very tired. And we get home really late. Teacher, mm -hmm. I remember I only, I only visited uh, from Acajutla, uh -huh. um, for example, several, several years ago, uh -huh. when I I went to to Acajutla by train, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, on from train, Sonsonate. yeah. I I remember oh, I arrived wow. I arrived the train in Ateos, ah. Ateos, Sacacoyo, Ateos, yeah. Uh -huh. um, I remember we went to Acajutla. I live at 7 a.m. and arrived to Acajutla at 11 a.m. Oh yeah. My God. <laughs> That's a well, that was a touristic tour. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This train is no a uh, similar Japan. No, of course not. No. <laughs> this is El Salvador. Yeah. <laughs> es como cuando But... fui a Suchitoto que hice ver el ferry a saber uh... que se hacía. <laughs> 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 this 
disappear. Mr. Rolando <laughs> by a ferry. Maybe it was in Lempa River with the ferry. <laughs> Hi, yeah, yeah. Ferry teacher. I, there is not a ferry. I, I remember the my father is uh como se dice canoa. <laughs> what? A, a canoe. <laughs> a, a canoe. Uh, my father I had uh, a canoe is it's all um the boat, you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you go like row, 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 row the boat. Con el remo. Con el palo. Ay, no. It's funny. But now ya tenemos el contact para ir a a Cajutla Port. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher, Sarah. the the train passes near to my house. Really? Yeah, several years ago. Yo porque nunca vi eso. Um, I don't know. I don't teacher, know. Uh, it's close to me, the, the, the station uh, of the. Really? Yes. Yo solo he ido al Fenadesal, pero es el museo del tren. <laughs> <laughs> the museum of a train. Si ahí están. Hasta los buses del Citran terminaron ahí. No. <laughs> It's true. Bueno, Norman no, Quijano. Norman Quijano. ¿Qué pasa? A, a saber cómo terminamos en este tema. Después de acá justo la puerta. Bueno, Salvador. ¿Are we invited? Salvador, ya no fue. Yes. <laughs> ¿Cómo Ay, ¿Solo le llamamos a usted? Sí, solo me... <laughs> you call me and I try to, to... To give us a tour. I give us a tour. <laughs> Cuando vengan los... ¿Cómo se dice? Los, no, ay, no, los, cru, no, los cruceros, los cruz. Cruz. Ah, uh, uh, yes, están viniendo bastante. ¿Verdad que sí? No, 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 no. Ajá, en vacaciones una amiga no, me dijo que, 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 que la habían invitado a ir a conocer un crucero que había, que había atracado en el Cajutla, pero como el carro le falló, no llegó. Bye. <ríe> Parada ahí por lo Teacher, uh -huh. I stay in a cruise. Un crucero last weekend, last, really? last, last vacation. Last vacation. You have money, Robert. Yeah, I, I cruise. Yeah. I cruise to the sala. I cruise my room. <laughs> I cruise. <laughs> Yo creyendo que de verdad había ido al Caribbean. <laughs> From the kitchen to the living room. From yeah. the living room to the, to the dining room. Yes, bueno, ya le vamos a pedir más información a Salvador para ver en qué área está. Oh my okay. God, this is interesting. Yes. Susana, Andrea, Urbina es la que le cayó la basura en el ojo. Por Andrea, she's sick, she's not feeling well. Virginia, good evening. Present teacher. How are you? Good. Good, good. good. Did you study English? Did you practice on the platform? Not yet. So, so. Practice a lot. Please. Okay. And William. Boris Roque Ortega. Not here. Solo Not interesting here. names tenemos aquí. Yes. Very interesting names, actually. All right. Teacher, how do you say basurita? Basurita in my eyes. Uh, could be... Um, Mm. Garbage, my, no, no, garbage. Es que garbage se refiere a cantidades promontorios de basura. Es que él podría ser como uh -huh. dust or a stuff. A stuff. O también podría ser como dust. Ay, como I'm polvo. Dust. Sand. Sand. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Así como, pero. Very little. Par par particula. Particles podría Particle. ser. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Particles. Particles. Mm -hmm. Particles. How, how, um, how is the seven level in, in this 
model. So in this, uh, uh, the level number seven. Yes, it's very hard. Uh, I, don't I don't know. know. I think it's the same. I mean, yeah, really. yes, if you have achieved the good level, then you just go with the flow. If you already have the level, of course, right? But if you're okay. struggling, if you really don't understand much, then maybe you're going to have a hard time. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. let's go on the reminders for the class, the reminders for the course, which are really important. Because the dates. Okay. Oh my God. By May 3rd, next week, right? The date of the cross, we should be finishing the second session and the midterm exam. Right? That's very important. Okay. From the 25th of April, today is the 25th. So it will be tomorrow, one day more here. So remember, since the first class was not good, <laughs> we are moving the day one day. All right. So at the end of the session, participants will be able to ask questions using can for information as well as for possibility correctly in an activity in the module. Use be going to. Remember, be going to. It's the future tense, but obviously it's a topic that we need to practice a little bit more. Sometimes we practice only affirmative sentence, only native sentence, only questions, but probably we're gonna introduce the topic today and we're gonna continue developing the topic tomorrow, okay? So we can work on it a little bit, okay? So this is the vocabulary we studied yesterday. I know you already remember because some of you mentioned in the review of the class in the introduction, okay? So this was part of the vocabulary, okay? These are some examples in which you can include these phrases, right? The textiles, the new textiles need to be handled in? Waterhouse. In the warehouse, yes. In different colors in different areas could be. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to read the instructions before assembling the machine, before cutting the parts, right? Before pile up. Before piling up material. Uh -huh. Maintenance team is lifting new material, raw material, in warehouse. In the warehouse. Some products, right? The warehouse manager. Needs to do anything. To, <laughs> <laughs> needs to get busy. Needs to collaborate. Nah. Yeah. Has to collaborate. <laughs> nah, come on. Don't <laughs> complain about the warehouse managers. They are very hardworking people. Okay, I just need a second to connect my laptop. It's about to die. Give me one second, please. Try to think of some other examples. Discharge your, your laptop. All right, I'm coming back. Okay, any other example with any of the sentences, with any of the phrases? Yes? No. You didn't think of. <laughs> you didn't use the imagination. Oh my God. Well, let's move on, no problem. So this is the explanation that you have in your manual. 
on how to use can for information and can for possibilities, right? So usually when you ask questions, right? But of course, you can use it also um, in affirmative, right? You can pile up this plastic in the warehouse if you're giving instructions, if you're explaining something. So that's something we're going to work on, of course. And this was the example, right, that we were working on yesterday. But all of them are questions. But in order to ask the questions, you already have the answers. My idea, my suggestion is that read the answer and then you get the idea how to construct the question. Yes? For example, here, number one says, you can store them in the back room. Yesterday, we had some ideas how to create a question. If you say in the back room is a place. So you need to ask for information about a place. So you can say where. Where, where can you? Where can you? Uh -huh. Or where can I? Because the answer is you can, right? Where can I store the refrigerators? Yes, where can I store the TVs? So we're going to work on this, of course. Take a look at this explanation. Follow the example. Check the example, okay? And then you can complete the question. We finished this exercise yesterday? Uh, not yet. Please. Not yet, right? Well, we'll be done. So we're going to work on this. Let me see. Yes. You can share with your partner your ideas of your answers. We're going to work on <laughs> small groups. We're going to make a small groups, but hmm, maybe. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay um, may i share the screen okay 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 let's see give me one sec oh. se puede ver es correcto carlos yes. <laughs> number one uh, you can store them in the bathroom. You can store them. Yes, yes. yes. Número uh, uno, ya estaba, ¿verdad? Era que... Where... Where can... Uh, the when car when can you store, can store the, you can we can move all the television ah oh, okay we can uh, move all the television um okay. we no puede decir de una sola vez can we move with the televisions can we move Sí. Television, television, something like that. Like that. Can we move 
the television. Television. Ok. Sí. No, we can, no, we no can. podemos, ¿verdad? Sí. No nos we podemos mover todo. Uh -huh. Pero ¿cómo dice la pregunta en español? Ah, ¿pueden ustedes mover los televisores? Algo así. Podemos. Podemos. Oh, podemos. Ah, okay. Because it's we. So it's us, nosotros. Podemos. Es podemos. Así es. Uh, okay. Okay, the number four. They can pile up the boxes tomorrow. Ah, aquí podría ser eh, when. When. Okay. Correcto. Can when. No, where can. Oh, sorry. When can pile up? No, el, el sería el pronombre. Eh, they. When can, ah, mm -hmm. sorry, sorry. When can they? Boxes tomorrow. Eh, ¿Ah, sí? No, no, no. Because eh, you miss the verb. The verb or, or the action is pile up. Okay. Mm -hmm. When can they pile up boxes? To... The boxes. The las cajas. No. The las. That's right. Okay. They can pile up. They can pile up the boxes tomorrow. Okay. The sentences or the question number five. The answer says you can store the 90, 90 cars. Ella puede, firmar, ella puede firmar el formulario, digamos. Entonces, pero la formular la pregunta sería, can she sign the form? Ella sí. puede firmar el formulario. ¿eh? Ajá, can she sign the form? Can she sing? Y yeah, ahí donde la, da la respuesta, ¿verdad? Yeah. Creo que sí, sería bueno. Sí, sería sí. bueno. Number four. And Number they, four. they can pile. Pile up the boxes Pile tomorrow. Y que sería decir, can, can they the, the pilot? Can, can, ajá, can, can they, they uh, yes. can mm. they pilot the boxes tomorrow? Yes. No, pero ahí ni sería con una... Es decir, con empieza, una... es pregunta también, Katy. Ah, ajá. Pero no inicia con Porque... qué. Si no, no inicia con, con qué. Where, no. Tendría que ser con, con where. where, con... The pilot, eh, pilot is... Porque, ¿Qué significa? They can pilot... Ah, significa pueden apilar las cajas oh, mañanas. Mañana. Ajá. Entonces... Pero, pero creo que no sería where, ¿verdad? Porque where estaría donde, ¿verdad? Pero no... No, sería usar un... Este... Es que sí, sí, puedes, sí puedes usarlo con can o con where, como es possibility. Where. possibility. Ah, ok, ok. Ajá. Pero ahí es una información. Lo que está ahí. Entonces sería where. Where, entonces. Where can where the pilot. Is... Where can pilot. Ajá, where can. Thanks. I can we can we ah maybe you can push insert push insert I don't understand la tecla insert en el teclado or or they can pile up the box is tomorrow. Este. I mean. uh, 
ellos pueden alquilar de Bob Morro. Y esa es la respuesta. O sea, ellos pueden apilar las cajas mañana. Sí. Esta sí está bien formulada, se puede decir, ¿verdad? Sí. Sería igual, siempre dándole vuelta a Ken Day Pile de Boxes to Ken Day, Day Pile of the Box Tomorrow. Es pregunta, ¿verdad? Sí. Can they, sí. can they pile up, pile, pile up the box? Of the boxes tomorrow. Entonces, la respuesta sería... Yes, they can. ¿Verdad? Yes, sí pueden, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes, can, they. ¿Qué día, verdad? Sí. Eh, number five. Aquí sí le podemos agregar si usted quiere el web, ¿verdad? Porque sí. se trata de la bodega, ¿verdad? Sí, cabal. Podemos poner Where can you store the, the nice cars ¿Verdad? Sí, así. Can you do En ese caso, para contestarla, ¿cuál podríamos poner? Yes, ¿verdad? O la pasamos a negativa. No hemos hecho ninguna negativa, ¿verdad? Uh, solo una y la seis también es. Ah, no, solo una vía. La tres. Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Solo hay una negativa. Entonces en este caso sería yes, yes, you can, ¿verdad? La respuesta ¿De la, de la de cuál de las cinco de las cinco es que la respuesta es la que ya está dada. La pregunta es la que nosotros vamos a hacer con lo que nos han dado. ¿Con qué? ¿Con qué? Ajá. Porque estamos preguntando y ahí, ahí ya estamos preguntando. Where can you store the night in car on a warehouse? ¿Dónde podemos? ¿Dónde ¿Puede usted poner en, en la tienda los 90 carros en, en la bodega, verdad? Estás preguntando dónde poderlos colocar, ¿verdad? Sí. Y el nombre sería la última entonces, don Salvador. Sí, la 6. Nombre 6.
Esta es. I can give you information in the product. Me puede dar información de los, del producto, ¿verdad? Uh, can... can I, ¿verdad? Can I give? No. Sí, can you, can you give you information on the product? Can you give you information in the product? Uh -huh. Pero fíjese que aquí va el pronombre de yo, ¿verdad? Sí. Dos veces. Una para sí. preguntar y la otra. All right, you finished? Yes, teacher. Of course. Nice. Everybody finished? Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, number one, you can store them in the back room. What could be a possible question? Mm -hmm. Any group? Teacher, yes. in my group uh, is where can you store the television? Where can you store the television? All right. To be, where can I store the televisions? Where can I store the boxes? Where can I store the material? Where can I store... Right? So as long as it's plural, boxes, televisions, materials, right? Refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Calculators, refrigerators, washing machines, cell phones, tablets, whatever, right? Number two, okay. yes, she can. She can sign the form. Mm hmm can she sign the form? Can she sign the form? That's right. Or you can change she for any other name. Oh, can okay. Carmen, can Alicia, can Sara sign the form? Yes. Yeah, she can. She can sign the form. Yes. What does form mean? Form usually are como formulario, formatos. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Very good, thank you. Exactly. When you made your taxes declaration <laughs> that I haven't made yet, ah, you have a form online. All right, and then you have to sign it. Okay. All right. Number three, no, we can't. We can't move all the televisions. That's obvious. Mm-hmm. Can we move? Can, can move we? All the or can you? Move all the can we move the television can, in the warehouse? Can, can, we? can we? Can we move? Can we, can we move all the televisions? It's also yes. possible, can you? And then you answer, no, we can't, right? 
Because you can be also be ustedes, right? Okay. So can you move all the television? And then they say, no, we can't. We cannot okay. move all the can, television, right? Can you use okay too? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. In case, okay. alguien le pregunta a un grupo de personas. ¿Podrían ustedes, pueden ustedes mover todas las teles? No, we can't. Or if you ask in the group. Teacher, we... se puede representar en negativo. As a question, negative. Like a negative question. Can't we move all the televisions? It is possible, but sounds more accurate. Sounds more logic if you say, can we? Just the auxiliary, not can't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you ask the question and then the answer is either affirmative or negative. For example, if I ask you, can you ride a bike? You say, yes, I can. I can ride a bike. Or another person will say, no, I can't. I cannot ride a bike. Mm -hmm, okay. All right. In the number four, they can pile up the boxes tomorrow. Where can pile up the boxes tomorrow? Where can they pile up the boxes tomorrow? The question sounds correct, but you need some more information like a place. You can pile up the boxes tomorrow in the small room, in the back room, in the warehouse. But it's if you focus like on tomorrow, is where or when? When. When. Mm -hmm. When. When. Yes, yeah, sounds more accurate, right? So you say, when can they pile up the boxes? When. So they can do that tomorrow. Yes? Yes. Okay. And they can can be substituted for the operators, the warehouse managers, or the employees from the warehouse. Okay? So you can say, where can the operators pile up the boxes? Or where, when, sorry, can the employees pile up the boxes? Yes, or the workers. All right, five, you can store the 90 cars on a warehouse, on a huge warehouse. Uh -huh. Where can okay. I store 90 cars? Where can I store 90 cars? That's a lot. No. Mm -hmm. Huge parking. Yeah, that has to be really, really big. All right. Yes, I can. I can give you information of the product. Mm -hmm. Can you give me information of the product? Exactly. Can you give me information of the product? Information also, you can shorten the word and say info. I have some info about this product, right? I can give you the info about the this product. Information, the product. Uh -huh. okay. Information. Can you give me information of the product? Right. Correct? Teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, when, when we use can mm -hmm. for information or possibly mm -hmm. uh, for example if if the question is information mm -hmm. uh, i can i uh, i use where or or, or where when. yeah uh -huh. yeah mm -hmm. uh, but but if the answer were possibly my question Start with can. It's yeah? a yes, no question, uh huh? Because yes, it's no is question. possible or not possible. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. For uh, example, at your work, is it possible for you to, let's say, go to work late on Friday? Can you get to work late on Friday? Uh, 
¿Puede usted entrar tarde al trabajo los viernes? Can you start work late on Friday? No, I can't. It's not possible, right? It's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so then, no, I can't. Just like mm. me. Uh -huh. It's not uh -huh. possible. So can you request for permission three days a week? No, I can't. It's impossible. It's impossible, right? It's not possible. Only, uh, only in my dreams. Only in your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> only in our dreams. <laughs> yeah. No. But let's say, can you... Um, can you request for permission a couple of hours on your birthday? No. Ni siquiera on su birthday. No. Really? No. Yeah. Sure. Only, only work and work like a slave. No. Other, other, other thing only in my dreams. Another. But if you are <laughs> sick, if you go to yeah. the doctor, ah, then that's possible. Yes. You can. Yes. Yes, I can't. Uh huh. That's possible, right? Oh, other, <laughs> other question. Can you, can you take a nap in your work? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I have I have a concern about that. For but some people, not. for some people, for me, it's possible. Yeah, for me in my dreams. Mm -hmm, only in your dreams. What's me yes. nap nap? Dormir son ratito. Una siesta. After ah, lunch. Okay, okay. Pero After lunch. Yo he conocido gente que lo hace y no me dicen nada. <laughs> Normal. <laughs> ah, pero vaya a ser que uno medio te recostó en el escritorio. You're fired. You're fired. <laughs> yes. Go to human research. <laughs> uh, all right. These are some other examples. Describe places where people can stack different products. Products, products is repeated. I'm sorry about my typo. So imagine that new products and material just arrive at your workplace. So ask and say where others can stack them, right? The warehouse operator, where can I store the plastic rolls? The warehouse manager, you can put them on the shelves over there. If you need help, let me know. So cuando llegan cosas a su empresa, ¿a dónde la guardan? ¿Dónde las ponen? Where can you stack them? On in my shelves. case, teacher, uh -huh. um, on shelves. On shelves in the warehouse. In the warehouse because um, uh, the warehouse is hooked. It's full of things. Yes. But you have like a special warehouse for different products or everything is in the same place? Uh, is for different products. It's classified. Yeah. Ay, yeah. thank God, porque nosotros tenemos una warehouse que parece. ¿no? <laughs> you need, you need Order. application, you need application 5S. 5S, I know, pero yo no voy a esa warehouse, usted. Give me, <laughs> I'm going to tell you the secret of this place. They constructed a cafeteria and under the cafeteria there is a warehouse. Oh. It's a huge mess. Because they don't only put the new products, new books or new material. No, they put old tables, old chairs, old material. Cosa que ya no van a usar y ya la van a tirar. Ay, se hizo le falta que salga la rats. It's terrible. The rush. Okay. Yes, too much. They even put like a lot of papers, plastic, cartons, so it's so many things. Y aparte que está la parte de la kitchen, it's so hot. And nobody <laughs> fixes. A lot of old monitors too. So that's terrible. Oh. And they say volunteers to go and put the warehouse in order. <laughs> me, I'm me, busy, I'm, busy, teacher. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm working. I'm working. <laughs> I don't have time. I have, I have 35 students. 
It's in I don't have a time. <laughs> exactly. Okay. What are you going to do? You're going to play with this chart. This is very easy. You ask questions. Okay. Van a ver este chart. Las que tienen X, ¿qué significa? Que no pueden course. hacer eso. It's they can't. Wrong. They oh, can't. They can't. Okay. Ajá. Si tiene check. She can. They can do that. Okay. Can. ¿Cuáles serían las actividades? The first one. Sing. Ride horse. Ride a horse. Do. Roller skate. Roller skates. Play. ¿Alguien sabe el, el nombre de este sport? Es sport. Es Pero mental sport. <laughs> Ajedrez. Chess. Chess. Yes. Exactly. Yes. And magic tricks. Magic. Pero, ¿qué son magic tricks. But, basado en este chart, van a decir Melissa can or can't. Uh -huh. Play chess. Yes. Exactly. Bob can or can't do magic tricks. Uh, yes. What's the trick, teacher? Trucos de magia. Trucos de ah, magia. Tricks. Okay. Vale, tricks. Entonces van a verlo acá. Si pueden o no pueden. De acuerdo a eso van a seleccionar la opción correcta. ¿Ya? Okay. And then van a ver otra vez el chart y van a contestar. Can friend roller skate? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Short answer. Short answers. All right. Perfect. Let me see. Vamos a cambiar de partners because we need a new partner to work with. And hopefully this time everybody can connect to the rooms because there were some people that were having issues the first time, all right? ¿Usted tiene la computadora, no? No. Bueno, me quiero ver un momentito. ¿Ese está en el, en el folleto? No, no. No está en el folleto. Vale, pero mandaron las fotos en grupo, voy a ver. Sí, está en el grupo. Ah, a ver. Contestar creo que son las preguntas. ¿verdad? Sí, conforme lo que está chequeado, ¿verdad? Permítame un momento. And the other so one. We're going to see Bob. Mm -hmm. Bob. Bob can. Yes. 
Yes, Bob can. The magic trick. Frank. Frank Kent. Ride the horse. Kent. 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 Okay. Yes. Kent, ride a horse. Can uh, ride a horse. La número Emma, cuatro. Yes, Ken, can I. Emma Kent sing. Ken de poder. Ken. Ken, yes. El número 5, Rolando. Bot es verdad. Bow. Bow es número 5, ¿verdad? Yes. Number 5 is Rolling Jeans Catch. ¿Qué es eso? Ah. Eh, ah, Roller se Skate dice? es patinar. Patinar, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Yes, Ken. Yes, yes, Ken. Bob Ken. Yes, Bob Ken. No, no. No, sería, yes, Ken. La, la, la elección sería Ken, porque Bob sí puede patinar. Ajá, yes, Ken, ¿verdad? Eh, por ahorita no. solamente es la elección que Ah, Ken. ok, ok, ok. Ajá. Ah, ok, ok. Ya, ya. Ok, ok. La número seis, Rolando. Melissa. Melissa, eh... Uh... Reading the horses. Ah, sí, Cam. Cam. Mm. Alisa Cam. Ken. Porque creo que sí aparece montar. Es, no. no, es. No. Runner Skate. Yes. Can. No, Runner Ajá, es que Roller, roller Skate es el patinaje. Y Entonces ahí... sí puede. Si sí puede, entonces sería yes, he can. Yes, Frank Kent. Uh -huh. Sí. No, Podrías ponerle yes, Frank Kent o yes, he can. Sí. Uh -huh. no, sería yes, he can. Eh, luego sería la number two. Can Emma do much trips? Sí. Vamos a ver, Emma. Yes, she can. Yes, she can. Um, number three. Can Melissa roller skate? Yes. Yes, she can. Um, number four. Can Bob rise a horse? Can Bob... No. Aquí tiene la cuadrícula que no, no puede. Entonces sería no. He can't. No, he can't. Esta es una respuesta corta, ¿no? Porque si también... Ah. Yes, pero parecía que... Entonces a esta le podemos poner... No can't. <coughs> No, no can't Roger escape. Es que conforme lo que está ahí dice Melissa, aparece que está chequeada, eh, que sí que, ¿verdad? Que ella puede, ¿verdad? Si usted lo ve, tiene el cheque de que sí puede, ¿verdad? Ah, sí es que. Patinar. Ah, oh, sí, aquí está el. Esa ahí lo estoy no, compartiendo. Esa foto no la había visto, Katy. Sí, lo envió la teacher ahí el WhatsApp. Ok, entonces sería eh, yes, 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 I can. Yes, can. O sea, can. Sí. ¿por cuál van? No. No. No, he can. No, he can. Like that. Cannot, cannot or can't. Eh, okay. Can cannot or can can't. It's better to use apostrophe, yes? Yeah, okay, okay. Like that? No, he yes. can't. Okay, perfect. And the number C, Rolando, please reading the number can five. Can Emma play? It's number five, Berda. Yes. Oh, but is is 
Yes. Yes, he, he can, but yes, mm. he can. No, it's number five. Yes, but the answer is negative. Really? Uh, because Emma. 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 Can't, Emma. Can't play chess. Emma no puede. Uh -huh. she can't. Okay. She can. Okay, okay. Can Emma play chess? Uh -huh. No. She can't. Like that, I can't. Nice that. I don't know. Can, 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 can. I yeah, see it. Nice. I can. Okay. Number six. Can France and Emma do magic? The answer is yes. 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 Um, they? Yes, they, yes. Yes, they can. They, yes, they can. Esta correcta, Hazel. Sí, son ellos porque serían los dos. Both. Los okay. dos, ¿verdad? Say. Number six. Yes, they can. This is number six. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, entonces sería la, la first, first part, number one. Melissa can't play shoes. Si quieren, vamos leyendo una cada uno para ir practicando. Okay. Va, entonces, la número dos, Salvador. La número dos es Bob, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Bob can do magic trip. Yes. Number three, Rudy. Frank can't ride the horse. Very good. Number four. En Number four. Can... Can uh -huh. think. Yes. Number five. Both can can't roller skate. Excellent. And number six. Melissa can ride a horse. Good. The second part. Number one. Number one. Uh, can Frank roller skate? Yes, he can. Number two, Salvador. Number two. Can Emma do magic trick? Uh, no, she doesn't. Yes. Well, no. yes, yes, she can. Yes, she can. Ah, okay. Yeah, yes, she can. Number three, Rudy. Can Melissa roller skate? Yes, Melissa can roller skate. Very good, very good. Number four, Salvador. Can both ride a horse? Uh, no, he, he can't. Yes, yes. Number five, Rudy. Can Emma play cheese? No, Emma can play cheese. Good. And number six, can Frank and Emma do magic tricks? Yes, they can. The ok, magic. compañeros, creo que eso sería lo de los dos ejercicios. Buenísimo. Ajá, este, yo creo que solo el mayor énfasis es de tenerlo ahí en el. En...
Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Did you finish? Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. Bye. Sugiero que estén viendo el cuadrito donde están las, los checks, las X, ¿verdad? Para que puedan decir dos sentences. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. This is very simple. Very easy, peasy. ¿Quiénes no han hecho ejercicios de can and can't? Everybody. <laughs> no, teacher, yo no. Me no, teacher. Really? Never, ever <laughs> in your whole life. No, I can't believe no, it. It's, men it's mentira. It's not true. It's not true. It's not so, true. So, Melissa can or can't play chess? Can't. Can't. Pues, a mí. She can't. Bob can or can't do magic tricks? Can. 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 Can you do magic tricks? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can. You can, really. You learn with, can. with a magician at the circus. Yeah. Uh, I can. I can do magic tricks with, with the cars. When I receive my 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 check, <laughs> I can do magic tricks at the supermarket. Yes, yes. <laughs> I know to stretch all the check. No yes. beer, no beer, no only beer. food. Yes, <laughs> only food. Only food, vegetable, bread, ham. All right. Next one is Frank. And ride a horse. Can't. 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 He can't ride a horse. Emma and Emma sing. Can. can. She can sing. Bob roller skate. Can't. Can't. Right. He can't roller skate. Melissa, can or can ride a horse? They share Bob is can. Is can. And. Bob can roller skate. Yes, I think. No. Can't. Bob. No. Bob, can't. Bob, uh, can yes, mm -hmm. yes, sorry. Yeah, he can sing and he can play chess and he can do magic tricks. <laughs> All okay, right. Okay, okay, sorry. Melissa, can or can't ride a horse? Can. She can. Maybe it's a can, right? Can. Yes. Can. All right. All right, all right. Yes. I don't know why my color changes when I change. Okay, can Fran roller skate? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Yes, comma, he can. Period. Mm -hmm. All right. Can Emma do magic tricks? Yes, she can. Yes, she yes, can. can. Yes, she can. That's yes, nice. Emma can. Yes. Usually, uh, when we answer, we use the pronoun. Oh, okay. You yes, can she say can. Emma. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, she can. Okay. Can Melissa roller skate? No. Yes. No. Yes, she can. No. Yes, yeah, she can. She can. Yes, yeah, she can. No, she can. Yes, she can. Check, check. Yes, she, yeah, can. she can. All right, can both ride a horse? <clears throat> Bob, 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 Bob. No, he can. No, he can't. He can't. People can say no, he cannot, and it's okay, but the most common you listen, it would be, no, he can't. Can Emma play chess? No, she can. No, she, she can. can. 
mash hands. All right. And can <clears throat> Frank and Emma do magic tricks? Yes, they can. Yes, they can. They can. They can because it's plural, right? So yes, they can. All right. Good, good, good. All correct? Yes? All correct? Yes. Great. Yes. Bye. Ya se pusieron el 10. Yes. 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 Of course. Yes. 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 Son de yuca, ¿cómo se dice? <laughs> <laughs> you cannot translate. It's the same. The, uh, big 10 of yuca. <laughs> Huge ten. Huge ten. All right. Huge ten. Probably. But sometimes you cannot translate. Things are not possible to be translated. All right. Great. Okay. Here we have another exercise, but we're going to skip it because it's too much. All right. Use your microphone to discuss the following questions. What does exporting mean? What are some merchandise mer mechanisms are in which products are transported? Okay, this is something related. I'm gonna go show you the manual for you to have a better reference. Here on your manual, there's this lesson that talks about purchasing and storing, right? So in this lesson, we are going to talk, asking, give information about one's or other shipments, brainstorm about the different methods that your workplace sends products or materials to others. But think about what materials or what products your company imports or what materials or what products your company exports. How well in my case, they export towels, but in yes. order to produce the towels, they import. Export towels. They export towels. Towels, yes. sorry. But import. Uh, cotton. Cotton. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, ink. Uh -huh, ink. Um, uh, oil. Oil. For the machine. Right. Yes. And all the uh, machines work with electricity. The sewing machines. Sewing machines. Yes, with the electricity. With electricity, all the sewing machines. And yes. they import, I bet they import the needles. The agujas. Ah, I imagine. Yes. I imagine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But there's not a lot of sewing, but there's a lot of cutting and 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 uh dyeing with the colors, right? Making the different um uh, colors of for the towels, coloring the, the cotton, because yes. that is the type of um industry for them. They work on the textile industry, right? Yes. Uh-huh. But depends of the business, depends of the company. So that is the idea to brainstorm about different methods that your workplace sends products or materials to others. So when they send the products, when they export the products, what are the methods? The transportation, let's say, they truck. ship or they truck. They they send them by truck. From here yeah. to Acajutla, if they go to, <laughs> to Europe or if they go to Asia, probably they are they go on a ship, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Or to the United States, probably. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the other companies, any other company you want to talk about? No? I can talk about uh, Doc. Uh-huh. What are the products that they make? Shoes. 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 In order to produce these shoes, in order to make all the process in the factory, they import material, a lot of materials. Definitely rubber. Rubber. Some of the rubber is produced here in the country, but mainly they import the leather, 
Yeah, because the leather in the cows in El Salvador, they say is no good quality because the cows receive a lot of bites from insects or cows are not really raised for the, for the leather mainly. They are raised for food, for meat or for milk, but not for, the, for their skin, for the leather. So that's why they import the leather and they process the leather here. They also dye, they import the ink, the glue. They also it's have it. a plant for glue production, I think, but I'm not quite sure if they still have it. How about with the cow here, with they, the say that they don't have a good quality for the ah, leather. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? But, yeah, no. because they, they don't really, I mean, the owners of the cows are not really raising the cows to produce leather. They mm -hmm. raise the cows to produce meat or milk, but okay. not to uh -huh, not to have but, a, a beautiful but, leather. <laughs> okay, but quality to leather. Exactly. Here, yes. Uh, so okay. in other countries, of course, they have farm just for leather. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I know um, I know a little process of a dog. Mm -hmm. um, for example, um, a dog import leader of Brazilian. True. Yeah. Yes. Um, and the best and the best leader is for shoes, caterpillar, push popping. Or shoes that they export to Europe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, caterpillar, <laughs> cat caterpillar and fresh popping is uh -huh. second quality for Salvadorian. Yeah, that's for Other import. <laughs> yes, but the best quality is for Europe, for Asia, sure. for the United yes. States. Mm -hmm. There is a, a special edition this this year because the company is 70 years this year in June. So they really? are making, yes, maybe you, you, boots. you can change the teacher come on the first quality here, teacher. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> I'm not an industrial engineer. I'm just a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, no problem. Uh -huh. I, I put maybe, the, maybe I the second quality. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will wear the second quality shoes. Yes. Or maybe you can you can write a recommendation. <laughs> Send a recommendation. Yes. Uh -huh. But it's teacher yes? and my company only imports uh, really? the product. Garlic, Mr. Oh, Cin uh, cinnamon, it's uh, paper. True. You told me you import all this product and then this product is distributed in the country. Yes. But we don't produce garlic. Uh, garlic Locally. color ajo. Box verde. Garlic eh, ajo. <laughs> Ajá. Pero aquí en el país no se produce. Or it's impossible because of the weather. Uh, no, import the Guatemala. From Guatemala. Early Indio, que le llaman, ¿verdad? Ah, Ajo Indio. Ah, del chiquitito. No, no chiquito, sino que. Es un grande que viene como en una red, en una red, en una net. So, it comes sí, ese, from Guatemala. Ese import de China. ¿verdad? From China, that's from China. Ah, okay. El de, el de, el de India que viene como una trenza. Pero de Pichaya. Como eh, en trenza, ¿verdad? Ajá, como trenzado. Es el... Da eh, cosa en Guatemala. De Guatemala, yes. Pero ellos lo, lo producen ahí en Guatemala. Ahí lo, ahí lo el, siembran. El mayor productor es Centroamérica. Dile, Guatemala. Really. Guatemala. Pero, ¿será que tiene mucho que ver para que el, el ajo, para que el garlic realmente produzca? Tiene que ver el weather, el clima. Yes, ahí va. Porque cool. muchas cosas por eso no se producen en El Salvador. Porque el, el mm. weather is terrible here. Yes, yes. Only, only, only Chalatenango that have to nice ah. weather. Díganos a nosotros que aquí en la Miguel está dejando los árboles. Really? 
hasta los y la capacidad de producción de, de, del country, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. China es un monstruo produciendo I todo know, tipo. Because de it's, a, it's a huge country. Yes. It's really big. But in El Salvador, it's possible to produce the things that people don't want to produce. I, I have a story this year that we have a graduate student that this year graduated as an engineer, ingeniero agronomo. And now she has planted with all the students. They produce already um, radish, cucumbers, squash, tomatoes, green peppers, and they are producing even broccoli. So mm -hmm. it's possible to produce vegetables, but no queremos hacer el trabajo y no tenemos el conocimiento and we don't care, but we prefer to spend, imagine going to a supermarket and giving two or three dollars for one vegetable for a broccoli. Teacher, but uh, I imagine that the reason, the problem is the government before, Many, many. many uh, maybe reasons. prepare people uh, with a remesa, really? people lazy or many. something like that. And, and do you have work? Time. No, I don't want to do to work. I, I, I don't want to learn that. That's too difficult. That's too complicated. No, it's yeah. not. Uh, only excuses. watch TV and uh, a couple of beers, you know, take it easy. A good self. <laughs> teacher, <laughs> teacher. Yes. To make video calls with no sense. <laughs> yes. Teacher, yes. I think I think the I think it's very it's very true. Uh, you can you can tell about the topic, but I think so. Uh, El Salvador is good for for product different vegetables and fruit, but I think so the reason and uh, because the people cannot produce is because uh possible they have money and in the product for for the for the baseball is very very expensive yeah, yeah. and yes. and when the when the farmer sell sell uh, his product in supermarket and the people wants to buy very cheaper right yeah. Okay, I think it's lack of knowledge. Because I have seen this case, the the um, the student that graduated from the foundation, she graduated from Universidad de Salvador. Yes. She didn't pay a expensive career, and now I noticed, yeah, at the beginning they invested some money. The foundation gave the money to buy the tools, the farming tools, to buy the seeds, to buy the... Um, they try to use very little chemicals because she says, it's not necessary. We can do it. We can clean it with our hands unless that you have uh, insects or any other type of uh, animals eating the plants. But the most, I mean, the most important is taking care of the little plants and yes. water and watering the plants that's for sure because these kids water these little plants every day twice a day in the morning and in the afternoon and now yeah. they, they got 200 cucumbers one of these days 200 imagine if you take all those 200 cucumbers to the market that's some money and the other day they get like bunches of radish so maybe right now it's only an experiment, but if people dedicate full time to do this, probably they can they can make a living of this. But part of that's right. This product. Yeah. So now maybe they change their mind about producing their own food. But some companies, you know, produce different products, as I was saying. So it depends, right? So we're going to check this, check this information in the following shipping label. What is a shipping label? Shipping label. Any idea? Shipping label is similar to more information of exporters, exports or exports, right? True. It's similar 
to the label that you put on your bags when you travel, right? But that's okay. your luggage. When you go to another country, when you fly on a plane, you put all this information, right? The name, the city, the address, okay? The place where you're going. So this is very similar. So from Travelers in 23 to... ¿Desde dónde hasta dónde viene esto? ¿Cómo así? From Travel in Lengua de San Carlos, California. Uh -huh. Made in the U.S. ¿Para Made dónde va? La Unión. La Salvador. Unión. Uh -huh. Literal Road 34, La Unión, El Salvador. This number, ya vamos a ver. Okay. Tracking number 00120134. Two, three, three. The quantity. 65 units. 65 units. The shipment. 784. Mm -hmm. And the sender. There. AB. AB 67H. All right. These are some other numbers. And this NFG date. 12, 4, oh, a long time ago. Manufacturing then, date. <laughs> cantidades en unidad. 100 pesos, 120 libras. All right. So this is, yes, 120 pounds. So that would be the net weight, right? All son right. Identica, son idénticas a las que recibo yo. Really? Uh, ah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay, interesting. Teacher, yes. Can you can you repeat? How do you say libras? Pounds. P O U N D S. Pounds. Pounds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pounds. Yes, Tens. Pounds. In kilograms, okay. teacher. Kilograms. Kilograms. Kilogram. Yeah. Okay. okay. Similar. Actually, those are more similar to American measurements than pounds, <laughs> kilograms, or grams, right? All right. Read the okay. shipping label information and answer the questions. What is the shipping address? What's the mailing address? How many units are in the package? And what is the manufacturing date? So this is the manufacturing date. Okay, if you miss this information. All right, so try to answer. Try to responderlo individually and then we're gonna compare. You have three minutes. It's just four questions. You have the manual, you can check this shipping label and try to answer this question. Como ustedes consideren que debería ser la respuesta a cada una de estas questions. All right? Three minutes. When we come back, we check the answers.
finish? Almost, teacher. Almost. All right. One more minute. Teacher, I have a question. Respect to the manufacturing day. Yes. Hello. Um, it's a date to, uh, in English, really. Mm -hmm. uh, first is the month, then month, the day and year. Yes. Mm -hmm. Seria 4 de diciembre, verdad? In December 4th. Okay, December 4th. Thank you. Yes. Don't teacher. All right, everybody finished. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Let's see, let's see, let's see. One second. I get a little bit confused with so many documents here. My goodness, it's here. So what's the shipping address? Literal what? Okay. Uh, numero, ¿Cómo se dice el número? Number 34. Number 34. Uh -huh, la Unión El Salvador. Okay. What's the mailing address? Traveler Inc. Okay. Traveler Inc. 23 Glen Way, San Carlos, CA. All five seven now made in the USA in California, the US. Right. California CA is usually the abbreviation for California. Okay. Right. So made in USA. How many units are in the package? 65. 65, right? And what's the manufacturing date? December. Four. Right. 2013. So that was pretty simple. Actually, you know, this it's some information that probably people who are related with imports and export are more familiar with, right? So we're going to be trying to talk about this a little bit more, maybe a small review tomorrow. And then we get into the topic of going to. Definitely is still talking about purchasing and storing, right? Because that is the communicative topic of this class, of this lesson, actually. All right. Let's have the attendance. One thing. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Some people just shared something right here. Let me just get to the list. And here we go. Andrea, still here? Not here anymore? Carlos. Present teacher. Great. Gilberto. Present teacher. Hazel. Present. Hello. 
José Andrés. Julio. Present. Catherine Beatriz. Cathy Viseira. Present. Great. Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. Orlando. Rudy. Present teacher. Salvador. Present. Virginia. And William. Not connected William today. So according to the list, yesterday, who participated yesterday? Participated Andrea, Carlos, and yesterday, who was it? Gilberto. In the session one on one. Hazel, are you ready? No ready? Left already? <laughs> Hazel, Hazel. Hey, Sal, yeah. are you there? Oh, okay. oh, yeah, she's still here. Okay, would you like to participate on the one on one session? Ahorita estoy bastante cansadita, teacher. Estoy okay, no problem. Bastante cansada, no sí. Salí tarde y estoy todavía con algunas cosas. It's all right, it's all right. Gracias. All Gracias. right. Julio? Yes, teacher. All right, so we stay with Julio. And everybody, go to rest. <laughs> go to sleep. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Okay. You want to do it in English and Spanish? Spanglish, half in English, half in Spanish. Spanish, please. <laughs> ya se cansó de hablar inglés. Um, casi algunas palabras sí entiendo, otras no. De verdad. ¿Las sí. ideas? Mm, leerlas sí. Ah, pero escucharlas es más difícil. Uh, sí, un uh, Hablarla es un poco más difícil que leer. Escucharla. Pero escucharla y como descifra el mensaje cuando las escucha. Um, a veces. A veces. Eh, son palabras que tal vez ya las he escuchado. Y le suenan, pero no se recuerda qué, qué es. <ríe> ah, sí. <ríe> También sé. cuando llegan visitantes allá al, al, al trabajo y sí. hablan, he escuchado las frases y les he entendido más o menos. Ok. Cuénteme su experiencia, eh, su apreciación del curso. Pues gracias a Dios estaba aprendiendo un poco más uh -huh. y este ya me he estado adaptando eh, con respecto al hablado y han habido también palabras y frases que en la escuela no la enseñan a uno, sino que hasta ahora pues las he, Por el trabajo he descubierto, también. sí. Uh -huh. O no sé, quizás por el tipo de, de, de idioma que le enseñan en la escuela es diferente. Sí, esto es como ya un poco más especializado, digamos, para trabajar. Sí, eso uh -huh. está bien. Uh -huh. Porque incluso hasta para saludar es diferente. Sí, <ríe> sí es que el, el, el ambiente de la escuela más que todo es como bien, bien relax, ¿verdad? Y bien... Bien sí, informal sí. hasta cierto punto porque uno cree que solo está con sus amigos, con sus compañeros. Entonces aquí es un poco más profesional y pues se trata de eso, ¿verdad? De, de, de poderse comunicar si toca, ¿verdad? En el trabajo. Sí. Uh -huh. Y porque va en el caso de nosotros, uh, nos conviene bastante ahí donde estoy yo porque normalmente el, el 60% son, son extranjeros los que van a comprar. Really? Entonces, este, sí nos toca bastante poner bastante atención. Sí, dice, usted que está en clase de inglés, vaya a tener. <risa> <risa> Conocí a un, a, a un amigo que, que él estaba trabajando para una gente, que no era para una, um, eh, 
los que andan en los aviones. Ah, que okay. Sí, y, y casi no, no hablaba muy bien y, y alguien moreno, eh, quizás de la raza antigua allá, uh -huh. le dijo todavía que regresar a la escuela a estudiar inglés. Ok. Pues que no le entendía. Sí, 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 no, a veces hay gente que no tiene mucha paciencia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y este, pues el que... mucho la empatía, ¿verdad? La comprensión, pues. sí. Uh -huh. Ah, pues, y ahí me comentaba él también. Y pues, hay que poner bastante atención. Sí. ¿Y qué tal he estado yendo con lo de las actividades en clase, con las actividades de la plataforma? Sí, eso de que en la plataforma eh, voy bien. Creo que voy un poco más adelantado ya porque uh -huh. voy por la segunda unidad. Pero en la parte de, de la segunda unidad hay una, hay una cosa que no, no paso. O sea, uh -huh. De unas frases que hay que ordenar y ahí no me... Ha de haber algún truco en la plataforma, no necesariamente que lo esté haciendo mal. Eh, sí, eh, creo que el, eh, bien raro, porque como ella parece que hay que ordenarla, uh -huh. pues está desordenada la, la oración, pero en la primera vi que hay que quitarle una palabra uh -huh. a la oración, entonces uh -huh. de ella las demás no, 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 no las la descifró. Ah, no la he descifrado, pero... Se adelantado, así que... You sí. can wait. Así es de que voy a ver cómo hago para ir, ir moviendo eso, lo, uh -huh. lo, lo faltante, y así ir más avanzado. Siempre he hecho eso de que en mis dos horas de, de almuerzo me pongo a ver en la plataforma. Sí, muy bien. Sí, para que vaya el día y si no se le acumule, porque si no después es como, ah, me falta hacer todo esto. Sí, uh -huh. y ya cuando uno es la carrera es tremendo. Sí, ya no le sale bien y ya no lo hace por aprender, sino que solo por salir del compromiso. Sí, lo, se pone uno, bueno, pues me pasó una vez de que tiraba, cuando salían incorrectas, ya bajaba la siguiente y así hasta que me salía la correcta. <risa> Entonces así casi no, no, no aprende uno porque no, no va anotando. Sí, porque no es eso, el objetivo, ¿verdad? el objetivo es recordar la información, el vocabulario, la estructura correcta, el orden correcto de las palabras para formular oraciones y todo eso. Sí, uh -huh. sí, es cierto. Y uh -huh. este, pues, bueno, ahí. Aparte no, de los no, clientes, ¿con quién más practican? De los compañeros que tengo ahorita acá, tengo una compañera de trabajo también. De verdad, ¿quién es? Eh, Virginia. Ah. Y me pongo con ella en, la, en, el, en el trabajo para Ay, platicar sí. y cosas así. Está bien. Así que me sale más. Ajá, sí, me sale más fácil. Ajá. Sí, Igual porque también así se va perdiendo también la pena, porque a veces uno se cohibe, porque no quiere hablar, porque piensa que se va a equivocar, pues si me equivoca, ¿cuál es el problema? No pasa nada. Sí, también, porque sí, es normal eso que da pena. Pues sí, pues. Que le van a decir. Es que hay algunos, también hay algunos que... Pues, colaboran. Um, unos que sí y otros que no. Y otros que colaboran, pero lo negativo. Sí, sí, sí. Pero igual, no sé, sea, hay que quitarle como importancia a eso, porque lo importante es que usted practique. Sí, uh -huh. sí, porque ahí es, bien, como se dice, este, es por cada quien. Claro. Ajá, sí, es sí, por cada quien, así como en la meta, es individual. Uh -huh. Así es. Bueno, César, o Julio César, ¿cómo, cómo le gusta que le llamen? A mí me dicen, en el trabajo me dicen Julio, pero aquí me dicen César. Ajá, que se está fijando. Yo le digo Julio como veo que es el primer nombre. Sí, el primer nombre. Don Julio César tiene el nombre de emperador. Eh, sí. No sé si hay alguna pregunta, alguna duda o algo más en lo que le pueda ayudar. Este... Por el momento no, solamente de, de que al principio sí no había, no, no me había caído el correo de, de que cuando iba a comenzar y todo el curso, entonces no me había preparado ni nada. Sí, ah, pues, y, sí ya logró tener el, el manual y todo. Sí, ya imprimí el manual y todo. Sí, que, eso le, le da como mucha, mucha más confianza y mucha más seguridad porque usted puede ir a tomando sus apuntes, este, puede ir subrayando, encerrando, poniéndoles highlight, cualquier cosa que le ayude a recordar. 
Sí, sí, uh -huh. eso. E igual, igual también. Lleva como más ordenado también la secuencia de las clases. Pero... Sí, y uh -huh. igual hay cualquier cosa que de repente no, no, no me surge, pues yo ya me comunico también con... Sí, con ellos, perfecto, ¿verdad? sí, porque también ajá, de repente... Hay un ejercicio que no es que lo estén haciendo mal, sino que o oh, es un punto, es una coma, un apóstrofe, que por eso no lo deja pasar o no se lo pone correcto en la plataforma, pero igual lo comunica en el grupo y, y ahí se Ay, si en el curso anterior me pasó eso. <risa> que, y estuve, creo que era ya casi para el examen final, era. Sí, y me estuve toda la mitad del curso, que no, no, no respondí a esa pregunta. Santos. Sí. Que, entonces, yo por último, la profesora me dijo: ¿Para qué compártame la, la, la pantalla? Me dice. Ajá. Y ahí es el screenshot me... para ver qué es lo que pasó. Y, y solo era el apóstrofe. Uh -huh. Ya con eso ya pasado. Uh -huh. Y me dice: Pasó todo el curso casi, me dijo lo por eso. Frustrado. <risa> no, pues que no pasaba de ahí. Pero le digo: Entonces, mejor así, pues que ya tiene todas las credenciales y todos los los enlaces para pues comunicarse. Sí, sí, y ahí solamente también hay que ir practicando la, las palabras para que se puedan, Así para que salgan bien, bien ¿no? entendibles, porque a veces uno le eh, dice diferente. Ajá, o sea, y como estar como bien pendiente, ¿verdad? De, de cómo es que lo dijo, cómo es que es la forma correcta, y si no me sale la primera, pues seguirla diciendo hasta que me salga. Ajá, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Así es. Bueno, César, muchísimas gracias por quedarse. Un gusto. A usted y, también. Gracias night. por tenerme paciencia. <ríe> Don't worry. I see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night.